This is a very common story amongst new developers. You want to get a tech job or start a software company so you learn a code. You're told by everyone that you need to build projects in order to stand out. And after many job applications, many businesses, you find yourself at square one with no money and no job. And I'm telling you right now, the reason this story is so common amongst us developers, including myself, is because of the types of projects you are building. A lot of developers today have fell into this trap of thinking that any project will get them hired or make them 10K a month on under SaaS application. And as developers, right, our goal is to stand out. We want to impress employers and get the attention of employers. And the only way to do that is not through the project we're currently building, but through another way, which I will get into. And I'll be honest, right? A one page landing page about yourself, like a about me page, I guess you could say, it's not enough today. They may be valuable for you to like actually learn to code. That's something else. But to stand out, to get the attention of people, to get customers, paying customers, that's not going to do it anymore. And so you've heard me say this a couple of times, but you know, you're saying, Nizar, what do you mean that you need to stand out? And how, how do you stand out? Let me just delete everything here and I'll get into that. If you want to stand out amongst the many people, you have to. I'm saying this like you have to build something original. Think about it. If you're ever on Twitter or you're using some software that you're paying for, is it a clone? Probably not. There are times where as a developer, you look at a project and say, damn, this guy built a Twitter clone. That's really impressive. But when you're talking about paid software and employers looking at something they want to have and they want to look at something you built originally. So this is a term I want you to live by and I've been trying to live by is to be an original dev. This is what I'm trying to live by because I think this is the greatest and easiest path to success in the development space. What you want to do is to impress others, to get other people's attentions, to get more users. You have to be an original dev. The original dev is someone that builds something off their own idea, has their own concept and is original. And don't get it twisted. This does not mean you have to create your own billion dollar software or anything like that, but just be original, build your own theme, build your own idea of an application, really just try to do your own thing. So for example, right, instead of building out a YouTube clone, maybe build out your own video service, or maybe instead of copying Skillshare and building a Skillshare clone, I really struggled to say that build out your own LMS platform. And this is exactly what I did. I built out my own LMS platform. I could have easily went on YouTube, found some sort of learning platform clone like Skillshare or anything like that, copied that and implemented it on my own and just changed up a couple of things. But that's not original. That's not going to get the eyes of people. As soon as I built out my own LMS platform and started applying this really to all of my softwares. I really started to get the respect from other developers because they looked at it and said, damn, that's original. That's really cool. Now look, does this take a lot more time to learn? Absolutely. It's difficult, actually a lot more difficult. You have to spend a lot more time building something original, but the rate of return, the return on investment that you will get as a result of this and not only your own skills, but the view of others and how they perceive your skill as a developer is unfathomable. So if you're a developer and you're looking for ways to stand out in the job market right now, and in a lot of places it's pretty bad, or you're trying to start your own company at, like myself, where I have like the Nizi Abbey platform, like the learning platform, which we're almost at like five or 600 users, which is actually crazy. Use these platforms that you want to clone as inspiration. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. I did that. I looked at Skillshare saw it as cool inspiration. I wanted to implement it. Use those as inspiration. But if you want to stand out, this is the best way to do so. But if you do this, I promise you, you will be 10 times more successful as developer, 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 because no one does this. But yeah, if you like the video, like the video, check out the Nizi Abbey platform. If you want to see some free courses on there, there's like cool courses. If you want to learn code, you can copy code. There's a GitHub repository. Everything's there. And if you want to join the discord server, I will leave that down below. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.